Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to another launch news reaction video. Now, last night, McLaren and Aston Martin launched their 2023 cars. Tomorrow, Mercedes will show off the W14, but today it is all about Ferrari and the SF23. The launch took place trackside at Fiorano, which was actually a really nice change from either some renders or a studio setting. It looked like a great atmosphere as well, to be fair. Nobody does it quite like Ferrari. But anyway, not only did we get to see some shots of the car, but we also got to see the actual SF23 out on track with Charles Leclerc getting the first couple of laps on the board and Carlos Sainz will get his chance later today. We don't often see cars running at the same time as launch, do we? Maybe an hour or so after, but not usually as part of it so thank you for that ferrari a really nice surprise this morning and doesn't that just ooze confidence running the car at launch hopefully that confidence will come to something in 2023 the car design is very much an evolution of last year's concept, which isn't a huge surprise because last year's car was super quick until they had to turn their engine down at least so there wasn't really any need to go super crazy with the changes there are obviously some tweaks, but one thing that jumps out is the front wing slot gap brackets, and that's something Mercedes ran last season and the FIA said no to, so it'll be interesting to see what comes of that. The nose is also shorter than in 2022. There's an interesting little winglet on the side of the car just behind the cockpit as well, and the side pods don't appear to be as extreme or aggressive as last year. I might be wrong, and of course, they're just a couple of bits my untrained eye has spotted, and I'm sure there's lots more on the car that some of you more technically minded people will be able to find, but despite the tweaks, the word again is evolution. As for the livery, shock horror, it's red, I know, right? But seriously, mostly red with a lot more exposed carbon fiber than we saw last year. And I think it's been done mostly fairly well. Definitely could have been better though. And I'm not totally sold on that black square area on the side pods. It makes it all look a little bit unfinished, which I guess in many ways you could argue is kind of the case, but this is actually by design. One thing, though, that I am absolutely loving is the Ferrari name across the rear wing. They ran it in yellow at Monza last season, but that looks so good, and I am really happy it's back. A quick word on new boss Frederick Vasseur as well. He says he's convinced that Ferrari have everything in place to win. And when asked who he wants to see take the first win for the team this year, he said he doesn't really care. And all that matters is that a Ferrari is first. Really looking forward to seeing how he gets on this season. And Charles Leclerc, by the way, was asked about his goals for 2023, and it will probably come as no surprise to hear that he wants to win races and try to win the title. To be quite frank, if he said anything else, I'd have been slightly concerned. All in all then, I must admit, I really enjoyed the launch itself and Ferrari did a great job at building a sense of excitement and anticipation. And you know, that's not something I've really felt so far this launch season from other teams. It was, of course, also awesome to see the car out on track pretty much immediately and it looks incredible in the sunlight. This whole launch has really hyped me up this morning for the new season. The car looked great last year and so it still looks great this year and although it is an evolution of the 2022 design, there are some interesting changes to keep an eye on. The livery is what it is, it's a red and black Ferrari but again that name on the rear wing looks super awesome and the whole thing looks so good out on circuit. But anyway, I am off to board the Ferrari hype train for the 16th season in a row. I'll see you in Abu Dhabi when they inevitably fall short and I look like an idiot again. Unless, of course, this really is Ferrari's year again. That is it for this one then, but let me know down in the comments section what you think of the new Ferrari and feel free to share your thoughts on anything else you spotted on the car that I've inevitably missed. Now, I will be back tomorrow with some reaction to the Mercedes launch. That launch, by the way, is from 9.15 a.m. GMT and is the penultimate one of the year. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this one, then please do leave a like as it really does help the channel out. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos or streams. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.